You've probably seen them all over San Francisco. White cars with sensors on top maneuvering the city with no driver. Now you'll see them in plenty of other Bay Area cities. 22 cities in the peninsula, uh, they can actually use the service. Uh, so uh, it's, it's really a surprise to everybody. The State Public Utilities Commission approved Waymo's request to expand to the peninsula and Los Angeles. San Jose State Professor of Engineering Ahmed Benafis says this marks a major milestone in the industry. The technology is here to stay. It's just who will do it better and communicate better at this stage. According to the CPUC, Waymo can collect fares and drive people from San Francisco all the way down to Palo Alto. And they can go on freeways too, but they can't go more than 65 miles per hour. However, some in San Mateo County feel this decision was rushed. I'm concerned that the technology is not ready for prime time. County Supervisor David Canepa worries more crashes involving self-driving cars will happen. Waymo asked for this expansion in January. In the middle of February, the CPUC issued a six-month suspension of Waymo's request so it could review it more. But on Friday, they decided to greenlight their request. And they fast-tracked it. How can you say that there's a suspension or there's a delay or there's a pause and then you get right back to, to, to business? Cities in San Mateo County had been working on an implementation plan for when self-driving cars hit the road. Well, very soon, those Waymo cars are going to be on streets such as El Camino Real, which is why tech experts say it's about making sure the infrastructure is as up-to-date as possible. They have to communicate and understand this technology, uh, understand the safety, understand how they can help with more about the safety, you know, exchange information with the with the, with the technology company. It's collaboration and cooperation that's going to make it work. Collaboration about something from the future rapidly becoming the present. Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.